The Holy Quran, a divine scripture, was sent down to mankind 14 centuries ago. From the day of its revelation to the day of judgment, it will remain as the last and sole guide for humanity. There are countless proofs that the Quran is the word of God. Such examples are its literary qualities that no human being can imitate, the fact that it is free of all inconsistency, and the way it foretells the future and contains certain hidden information. The Quran contains another miracle that proves it to be God's revelation. There are a remarkable number of scientific truths that are contained in it. In this book that was revealed over 14 centuries ago, there are innumerable examples of information which humanity has only been able to uncover using today's technology. People at that time were devoid of science. Conceptions of the nature and the universe were based on superstition and myth. For example, the Arabs supposed that the earth was flat and that mountains supported the sky above. Yet, all these superstitious beliefs were eradicated with the revelation of the Qur'an. The verse, God is He who raised up the heavens without any support, invalidated the false beliefs of the Arabs regarding the sky. The Qur'an contains information on a great many subjects that nobody could have known at the time, from the creation of the universe to the making of man, from the structure of the atmosphere to the balances on earth. Recent scientific discoveries have shown just how miraculous this information is. In the early 20th century, the prevalent view across the world was that the universe was infinite. According to this view, known as the static universe model, the universe had no end or beginning. This view dominated the scientific world for many years. This was the case until the evidence for a theory rocked this erroneous belief. The Big Bang Theory The evidence proved that an explosion emanated from a single point some 15 billion years ago from nothingness. The entire universe, together with matter and time, came into existence as a result of a great explosion that occurred a long time ago. Many scientific findings today support the Big Bang Theory. It has now been proved that the universe had a beginning and was brought into being from nothing through a huge explosion. This fact proved as the result of long research in the field of physics, was also declared 14 centuries ago in the Noble Quran. He created the heavens and the earth from nothing. Research carried out thanks to modern-day advanced technology, observation and calculation have shed light on many secrets concerning the universe. One of these is the fact that it is constantly expanding. This idea of expansion was first raised in the early 20th century. 
The Russian physicist Alexander Friedman and the Belgian cosmologist Georges Lemaitre theoretically calculated that the universe is in constant motion and that it is expanding. This notion was confirmed by the use of observational data in 1929. While observing the sky with a telescope, Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, discovered a surprising fact. The stars and galaxies were constantly moving away from each other. This discovery is regarded as one of the greatest in the history of astronomy. A universe where everything constantly moves away from everything else implied a constantly expanding universe. Bodies in the universe were like points on the surface of a balloon being inflated. The more a balloon is inflated, the further away the points on its surface move from one another. Similarly, celestial bodies also move away from one another as the universe expands. There was no technology and no science of astronomy 14 centuries ago when the Quran was revealed. Nobody was then aware of this fact. Yet, it was clearly stated in Quranic verses that the universe was expanding. And it is we who have constructed the heavens with might, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The Human Body A flawless structure with many fine details that still have yet to be discovered. Scientists engaged in research using today's advanced technology obtained astonishing results concerning the human body. One of these dealt with the tissues in the body. Living tissues contain 26 different elements. Six of these are the most common. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These basic elements represent 95% of all tissues. This, in turn, represents important scientific evidence of the information revealed in the Quran, the creation of man out of clay. The building blocks that constitute almost all the human body are present in the soil, either in free or compound forms. The first human being was created by God, who shaped clay into human form and breathed the soul into it. This miraculous event is described in the Quran. Your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a human being out of clay. When I have formed him and breathed my spirit into him, fall down in prostration to him. In another verse, God tells us that we created man from an extract of clay. The Arabic word sulala, translated as extract in the verse, means representative example or essence. The information revealed in the Quran 1400 years ago confirms what modern science tells us. The fact that the same elements are employed in human creation as those found in the soil.
Let us now consider all those human beings who have ever lived and who are living today. Every person has his or her own set of fingerprints. Even identical twins having the very same DNA sequence have different fingerprints. That is because there is a special formation in the fingerprints. Fingerprints attain their final shape before birth and remain the same for a lifetime unless a permanent scar appears. That is why fingerprints are accepted as a very important proof of identity, exclusive to their owner. Scientists discovered this important feature only in the later 19th century. However, in the Quran, God points to the fingertips, which did not attract anyone's attention at that time, and calls our attention to their importance. Does man imagine we will not reassemble his bones? Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. He has created the heavens and the earth for truth. He wraps the night up in the day and wraps the day up in the night. The Arabic word that is translated as to wrap in this verse is yukawir. In English it translates as to make one thing lap over another folded up as a garment that is laid away. The information given in the verse about the day and the night wrapping each other up includes accurate information about the shape of the world. This can be true only if the earth is round. However, it was then thought that the world was a flat plane. Nobody knew that the earth was round. The revelation in the Quran at that time that the earth was round is one of the countless proofs that our holy book is the word of God. A very important feature of mountains is indicated in a Quranic verse. The function of preventing shocks in the earth. We placed firmly embedded mountains on the earth so it would not move under them. And geology today confirms this characteristic of mountains. Formerly, it was thought that mountains were merely protrusions rising above the surface of the earth. However, in the 20th century, scientists realized that this was not actually the case. Those parts known as mountain root extended down as far as 10 to 15 times their own height. For example, Mount Everest, the summit of which stands approximately 9 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, has a root deeper than 125 kilometers.
Mountains emerge as a result of the movements and collisions of massive plates forming the Earth's crust. When two plates collide, the stronger one slides under the other. The one on the top bends and forms heights and mountains. The layer beneath proceeds under the ground and makes a deep extension downwards. These extensions are the mountain roots. Thanks to their roots, mountains fix the Earth's crust. Therefore, they prevent any sliding over the magma layer or amongst the layers themselves and also prevent major earth tremors. <laughs>